They've made history for the Greensboro Fire Department, becoming part of its first all-female team of fire investigators. Once a fire is reported, it's their job to figure out what caused it. But as they told me, it's bigger than solving a mystery. It's about helping people heal. Go inside and do interior pictures. They see themselves as truth seekers. You want to make sure you do the job right, you do it professionally, and you get the answers that you need. Um. Bridget Crump and Captain Vicki Martin have been with the Greensboro Fire Department for 21 and 19 years, respectively. There are a few jobs they haven't done. I stayed in, on the truck, you know, for 13, 14 years. I started out in the back seat, then I promoted to the driver, so I was the engineer of the truck, and then I promoted to the captain position. Years into their careers, a different aspect of the fire service got their attention. Once I got into the fire marshal's office, it really piqued my interest, and so, and here I am today. And so, like Vicki, I go out and help them dig out fires, and then that's when I was like, wow, this is something I really want to do. Bridget has been a full-time fire investigator for the last seven years. Vicki is closing in on five. Vicki and I are boots on the ground kind of girls. Anytime a fire happens in the city, they are part of the team that has to figure out where it started, how it started, and was it an accident or arson. And we start interviewing anybody that's around the homeowners, tenants, neighbors, and trying to, you know, see what everybody saw before the 911 caller to see what was going on. They lean on each other a lot to compare notes and make sure they've been as thorough as possible. We're not just going to fly in and take care of an investigation and within an hour say, well, this is what happened. You know, if it needs be a thorough, long, drawn out month, two month, whatever, it could be longer, then that's that's what it's going to take. They also lean on each other to get through calls with a heart-wrenching outcome. Almost five years later, Bridget is still brought to tears. That one was real tough. When asked about investigating one of the worst fires in Greensboro's history, the deadly apartment fire on Summit Avenue in May of 2018, where all five children who were inside, three boys and two girls, died. That fire was very very hard for a lot of us. Um, you know, it takes a lot to put those fires behind you to move forward. Um, you never forget them. You know, you can about quote the date and in times and you relive it a lot of times. Having to do that report and look at it every day until it's closed, you know, that's that's a lot to, to bear. Vicki investigated the devastating fire that happened on Grimsley Street last December where three young children died. It's not just us that is affected by it. It is the, the fire fighters on the line. It is the community. It is everybody. When we get back, we have sat there and just talked about it and looked at things and cried together. Knowing that families are counting on them keeps these investigators motivated. For us to be able to bring that closure to the family, to ourselves, and to the guys that were on the scene with us, and to the department, that's what's important to us. And Vicki and Bridget have interesting backstories on how they got into the fire service. Bridget was working at a family-owned meat shop in Greensboro when firefighters who would drop in often invited her to do a ride-along. And it turns out when she went on that call, they actually saved a life that night, and it was her family friend, so she knew it was meant for her. And Vicki decided to start a new career after moving here from Florida. She joined the fire department at 42 and now is 61. They want women to know it's never too late to give yourself a fresh start. Start. Mm -hmm.